What is up, Cryatix? In this video, I'll be talking about this week's Triple Money Event Week as well as the property and vehicle discounts. This event week is for April 28th through May 4th, 2022. So firstly, the bookmark jobs not showing up and playlists are still broken. Again, this is only a next-gen issue that happened with the update from a couple days ago, and it is yet to be fixed at the time of this recording. Anyways, the current prize ride for this week is the Zentorno, which is very surprising. This car is primarily based on the Lamborghini Sestelemento, mixed with the Venino. It has a normal price of about $725,000. But anyways, to get this car for free, you have to place top three in a Pursuit Series race for five days in a row. Honestly, I'm not a fan of a days in a row requirement for these challenges because not everyone can make that five day dedication for five days out of the week. I think that's a bit ridiculous, uh, especially considering this car costs less than a million dollars. It's not like if it's a multi-million dollar car making it more worth it. A car that's about 700,000, not really all that much. But anyways, in terms of performance, this car used to be the king for the supercar races back in 2014. But obviously, a lot has changed in the past eight years, and this car barely makes it into top 15 in terms of track performance these days. In terms of the test ride of vehicles for this week, we have the Jugular, the Tigon, and the Champion. And for next gen console players, we have the Weaponized Ignis as the HSW test ride car for this week. Now, in terms of the Casino Podium vehicle, we have the Anis Euros which is a car we've seen on the prize ride before. Very strange decision there by Rockstar. Anyways, this car is primarily based on the Nissan 370Z Nismo. It has a normal price of about 1.8 million and a trade price of about 1.3 million, which is definitely very expensive for a car like this. Now, in terms of performance, this car is in the sports class and is one of the vehicles from the Tuners DLC meaning that it does have that annoying tuner's nerf which made all the cars in the tuner's DLC slower and this car was already pretty slow to begin with so that didn't really help. <laughs> However, the customization is pretty good but again the tuner's nerf on these cars really makes them not worth owning anymore because they're not really that fun to drive anymore. But I guess it does look cool in your garage if you want to have it for that styling aspect. So, starting off with the property discounts, we have a ton this week. So, we have 30% off the CEO offices, the bunkers, the nightclubs, the biker businesses, and lastly, the terabyte. So, wow, very impressive there. Definitely jump on some of those properties this week if you don't own one yet, guys. However, the upgrades for them are not discounted. So I recommend being very conservative in that regard. Remember that you can always renovate the property and add on the upgrades when they're on sale later on. Moving on to the vehicle discounts, we have 30% off the Entity XXR. So this is a very cool supercar in terms of styling. Obviously it's heavily Koenigsegg based, but unfortunately this is one of these supercars with these slow handling flags where it does go very slow over bumps. So it's only a good one to own if you like its styling, because to drive, it's not all that great, unfortunately. Next up, we have 40% off the 770, which is a car that I literally customized last week in my past DLC customization series, so that's a pretty funny coincidence there. Rockstar, are you watching me? <laughs> Definitely check out that video if you guys haven't seen it already. So the 770 in general is a great car, especially for this price. Moving along, we have 50% off the Blackfin. So this car is in the muscle car class and is one of my favorite classic cars in game with its incredible exhaust note and driving feel. It's not the quickest car, but definitely one that I think is worth owning. Next up, we have 40% off the infamous True Fade Adder. Now, I don't remember this car being on sale, and if it was, it was probably a long time ago, but definitely one of the most nostalgic cars in GTA. Almost Everybody owned one of these back in 2013, and it used to be one of the fastest and most expensive cars in the game. If you're wanting to add it back to your collection, or maybe you've never even owned it, I think this is a great price for this car, but do keep in mind that it doesn't really have any visual customization, unfortunately, except for the normal paint wheels, etc. 
Moving on to the Warstock website, we have 40% off the Ardent. So this car is in the Sports Classics class and is a weaponized vehicle with guns out front, but it cannot be used in races unfortunately, even though there are tons of cars in GTA with guns that are usable in races. Again, more Rockstar logic there. It has good styling though, that's pretty much it, and a couple customization options here and there. Um, I currently still have mine because nobody really owns it, so I think it's kind of rare to see somebody driving it around, but there's a reason for it. The car really has no use, unfortunately. In terms of triple money, we have triple money and RP on the adversary mode Sumo Remix, which is a pretty fun adversary mode, especially since it allows up to 16 players. Next up, we have triple money and RP on the versus mode Road Game. I don't think I've ever played this, but I might give it a shot this week. In terms of double money, we have double money and RP on the client jobs from your terabyte. Continuing, we have 1.5 times money on the bunker, which is pretty good. Not double money, unfortunately, but at least it's something. Also, we have 1.5 times money and RP for CEO crates. This one is definitely not as good as the bunker, but for those of you who happen to have a lot of full warehouses or almost full warehouses, now is definitely the time to sell. In terms of the discounts and bonuses for GTA Plus members, at the time of this recording, the only ones we know currently are their 100% off sale on the Brioso RA and the HSW upgrade making them free. And of course, the HSW upgrade for the Brioso is early access, so the rest of the community that doesn't have GTA Plus should get it about a week and a half later. It should be very similar to what they did with the Divest 8, I will update the info in the pinned comment once we get all the details later today from the Rockstar Newswire. And as usual guys, I don't really recommend buying GTA Plus. The bonuses usually aren't really that great, and they released the early access upgrade about a week later anyway, so overall not really worth it. Moving on to the Prime Gaming discounts for Prime Gaming members only, so again, same as the last few months, we sadly don't have any Prime Gaming discounts currently in game. The only thing we have is the usual free $100,000 for logging in during the event week period. And lastly, this week's RC Bandito time trial is Cypress Flats. This week's normal time trial is Coast to Coast. I highly recommend a vehicle with a high top speed such as the Pariah or one of the HSW vehicles if you're on next gen. In terms of the premium race for this week, we have the muscle car race down the drain. I highly recommend our the Buffalo STX or the HSW Arbiter GT for this race. And lastly, for next-gen console users, the HSW time trial for this week is Pacific Bluffs, and as always, the HSW Hakachu Drag will be the best one for these. Every Friday I post I gotta how to easily beat the time trials and premium race, so stay tuned for that if you're new. In terms of my vehicle discount pick for this week, I'm gonna have to go with the Adder, it's rarely on sale, and it's actually a decent price for that car. Anyways guys, hope this was helpful. Overall, this event week is pretty good with some great discounts and bonus money. A bit of something for everyone. I think Rockstar did a pretty decent job this week, except for that update where they messed up a bunch of stuff, but hopefully <laughs> they get their stuff together and they fix it. Again, I will keep you guys updated. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.